Hi there, I'm really excited for the next couple of videos that are coming out. It's a mini series on dating and love, and this is part one. So we're talking about the do's and don'ts of dating. Now lots of you weighed in, and many of you shared the same opinion on the don'ts part of dating. So let's get started. You do not want to be talking about your ex during that date. I mean, this is kind of an obvious thing, but I mean, a lot of folks wrote in about that, so it keeps happening. So yes, just don't talk about your ex, even if they played a vital part of your, your relationship experience. I mean, you just need to save that maybe for a later conversation. You should put your phone away because a, it's rude, but then also it just shows that either you have something more important going on in the side or you're not giving that person the respect that they deserve at the first part of meeting them. I mean, that's the first impression you're making is you texting or looking at your phone or you not making that person a priority and it doesn't feel good. So definitely put the phone away at least for the date um, and then you can take it out and check it out. Uh, a lot of females out there feel like if you are the male or female asking the other person out on a date, that it's kind of a given that you should be paying for the date. So that was something that you should do. So you shouldn't ask someone on a date and then take them on a date and expect them to go Dutch or for them to pay for the entire date themselves. And then another one is hygiene. Of course you want to make sure you don't have bad breath and that you don't look like a complete slob. So you want to take care of yourself there. And then last but not least, don't be misleading. Don't put up a huge front and try and just show maybe, you know, the best qualities of yourself, but maybe a little exaggerated because if you do have a chance with this person, you guys keep on dating, it's going to come out eventually that you exaggerated in the beginning or you just misled that person into thinking that you were someone else. All right, so now we're going to talk about the do's of dating. So the first one is that you should dress accordingly to the dates. Now let's say you are going golfing or doing something casual outdoors. Ladies, don't wear heels in a dress. I know it's tempting to. I definitely overdress for a lot of occasions because I like to dress up. But in this case, you should go casual if that's what the ambiance calls for. Or if you are going to a really nice restaurant. Ladies, usually you don't have a problem dressing up. So men, I mean, put on a tie, put some slacks on, some nice shoes, you know, shave, try and look put together and then go on your date and have a good time. Another thing is ask questions. So be into the date. A lot of women were commenting on this that sometimes they go out with these men that just want to talk all about themselves and I guess kind of show off and fluff their feathers, but uh, it's not impressive. Most women just want you to be honest and be intrigued and ask them questions during the date. Be open about what you want in the first couple of dates. Now this is important because if you want to get married and let's say have kids in the future, you need to know if that person that you're dating wants that as well. They may just be looking for fun and that's fine if you're looking for fun, but if you're looking for a serious long-term relationship, then you do need to state that. If not the first date, then the first couple of dates. Because why are you going to invest your time, your effort, your heart into someone if it's not going to in the end get to where you want to be. So definitely you have to be open and honest about what you want. Now next week we are talking about millennials and dating. So you can leave your comments or your questions on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. You just have to find me at Caitlin Espinosa and use the hashtag DearCaitlin. In the meantime, smile and cheers to better days ahead.